gateway to uh, the Atlantic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good morning everybody. Um, welcome to every disused station from Manchester. Um, today we're bringing you just a handful of stations. Um, good reason for that. What's the reason Rebecca? Um, I believe, um, I have no idea. <laughs> we're meeting, we're uh, meeting a we're friend. Meet, we're meeting, meeting a friend. Meeting a chap called Martin Zero who you may well have seen already on YouTube. Uh, Martin focuses a lot of his videos um, around Manchester. And seeing as we're up in Manchester, we thought it would be rude not to say hello. So, uh, without further ado, here is Mr. Martin. Hello. So, you've obviously seen Martin's channel. If you haven't, we'll put a link below. Um, if not, just go onto YouTube and just um, type in Martin Zero, and you'll find his channel, which, as we said, is very much focused around all kinds of different history, including disused railways. Um, so, well worth a visit. Um, so, today we are exploring from Glazebrook Junction. Uh, down to Timpley Junction and the stations in between and of course that includes the very impressive structure that is the uh, Caddis Head Viaduct. Right, so as we said earlier we're at the uh, Glazebrook down to Timperley section of the Cheshire Committee line and where we are right now is where the Glazebrook Junction came off the main line. So Arlham Station is just up there um, and the original line came from the south uh, southwest along exactly where we stood now on this part of the track bed under the bridge which we'll show you a few shots of in a minute so that part of the line there that way there is the original line so before the Manchester Shipping Canal and was built this is where the line went straight across there probably three four miles towards Timperley. The section of the line that we're interested in today starts here in Glazebrook and heads down towards Timperley Junction. We're looking in particular at Caddishead and Partington stations and of course the viaduct itself. So this part of the line was originally built in 1873 and was of course at ground level. However, owing to the construction of the Manchester Shipping Canal in around about 1887 onwards for about five or six years, the line here was required to be raised to give a clearance of 23 metres. That meant that this section of the line, including the stations of Caddishead and Partington, needed themselves to be raised up as well. So that section we just got to just down there and we accessed through this rather slim required um, fence bridge. Right, we're now walking back from the Glazebrook Junction and we're walking towards um, Caddishead. Uh, Caddishead uh, second station because we're on the upper line. We don't know if there's any um, original station from the original Caddishead 1873 just down on that lower line. Uh, but we'll go have a look and see what we can find. We're just about at Caddis Head Station, second station. We think there, hidden under all the bramble, is quite possibly a platform, and it still seems to be running all alongside here, so we're almost certain it's a platform. Um, that side, not quite sure if that's a platform or not, but 
certainly some concrete all mixed up in there and we're well on the ballast now um, as you can hear underfoot and there we are look. So the big question that's on our mind is was there, are there any remains of the original station which lasted perhaps 20 years? I think that there, what we're looking at there Martin, is a walkway down yeah. to the road. I think that's a walkway up to um, this station up here because it had a walkway both sides, a sloped walkway both sides. Pretty sure that would be a walkway <clears throat> but the big question is, is there anything down the bottom? So, part and uh, Kada said, original station, quite possibly just there, down from the old or oh, the new station, relatively new. Um, nothing we can see. We didn't expect to see anything as such. It would have been nice to there something there, but to be honest with you, I've no idea what sort of structure we're looking for. We're looking for a, a wooden structure. What sort of um, structure would uh, Cheshire Lines Committee have built back in 1873? Would it have been a wooden construction, uh, masonry? No idea, so we don't know what we're looking for. Not that we can actually see anything in particular as well, so we shall give up on um, Caddis Head original. Partington Viaduct, mm, hugely impressive structure. Um, loads of bikers all around here um, having a Sunday scramble. But this is Partington or Caddishead Viaduct. Two 40 foot containers or four 40 foot containers each side. Apparently, it's unsafe to get on, there's no um, sort of proper structure in between. Um, so, yeah, four 40 foot um, containers each side blocking you off. Right, so Martin has just appeared from underneath a bridge there and that bridge was part of the original trackway, the 1873 one. We're thinking, um, or Martin certainly thinks of River Irwell, because we think the shipping canal used the route of the Irwell, um, so it's highly likely that the bridge just here, you can't really see it from here but I'll do some overlay, was of that um, going over the Irwell. And obviously before the shipping canal, um, line went straight across in front of us now, over the course there on up to um Glace. <laughs> you didn't have four stones to lose so after quite a considerable walk not considerable considerable in terms of the terrain uh, from Cadishead Viaduct we've now walked all the way down here down the big embankment to the road back up here and Et voila, Partington station, second station. Same story as uh, the Caddis Head station, um, although this one is a lot more intact, proper proper bit of the platform. Um, lovely brickwork all along the bottom. Fantastic, it'd be good to see some old pictures of this to see how it looks, or how it did look. I'll try um, and get some more pictures. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is great, this is worth the walk. And we found it. Partington station, so another one you can tick off your uh, yep. the list. Big tick. There it is. So as I said to you earlier, um, the beauty of our trip today with Martin is that we're able to spend a little bit more time looking at the um, the two stations that we're actually looking at. We're able to give it a little bit more detail and we just found this down there by Martin's bag because um, we looked in the old side-by-side -side maps, Crane Base. 
uh, or crane so we're assuming that little round circle there is highly likely to be a crane base um, signal box was just here there is nothing left of it but there we know that's where it was end of the platform there's a line that went in there that side of the platform um, perhaps for a small sort of rail motors type uh, train um, and yeah a few few um, lines over there like a small goods yard probably especially for the crane um, so yeah really really pleased this is a great great tick lovely um, platform still remains hopefully it will do for some time to come um, and Bankman just goes that way probably there on down to Timperley Junction where there's a lot more earthworks but um, yeah really good tick so a big thanks to Martin today for inviting us along um, really good um, just as we were walking away from the station back towards the car um, along towards Varduct we found um, this so the camera is actually I can't get the camera uh, down there it's actually really cold um, so I'm going to try it with the phone put the phone down there and see if you can get a shot of the inside of that subway absolutely brilliant look at the older uh, tiled bricks and the, uh, the arch there this is what we love look at this fantastic We'll overlay a few shots now. I've got a few great shots on the camera, but basically, we assumed it was a footbridge on the old maps. It looks like there's a footbridge stated, but obviously, it's not. We learned something here today, which is the markings that we'll do an overlay of now probably means subway, not footbridge. <clears throat> and that is a lovely piece of architecture for um, well, late 1800s marbled archway. Okay, so um, as promised, not many stations today, but uh, a lot more detail. Um, we found a lot more things that we probably never have found in a million years without Martin. Um, the crane base was great. Um, the little underpass under Partington, which is still visible. The beautiful marbled um, or tiled uh, passageway. Fantastic stuff. So um, massive thanks to Martin for inviting us along today in his um, hometown of Manchester, home city of Manchester. No problemo. Um, Check out my channel, Martin Zero. <laughs> Martin Zero, absolutely. We'll, we'll link below with the first thing we write. It's not all railways, it's a uh, bit of waterways, history, all sorts of stuff really. It would definitely appeal, I think, to every subscriber we've got, your channel would appeal. Um, and of course, a big thanks from myself and Rebecca for watching. Keep watching, trying to do a video a week, not always possible, but we're, we're certainly trying. And we shall um, see you next time. Bye.